Hi everybody, Ali from Potent Renewals here. So, I'm excited to announce that this video is the start of my first robotics build on YouTube. I've built other robots in the past, but I've never documented and filmed the process. So this should be an interesting experience for all of us. I want to have a little fun with this, so I'm not going to reveal up front what robot I'm going to be building. But I am going to be giving out clues in the first two videos in the series, as well as on social media. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram and Twitter, be sure to do so. I'll leave links to those accounts in the description below. Oh, and what about Google Plus, you say? Well, nobody uses Google Plus, so... Alright, so let's talk about what I can tell you. This robot is going to be based on an existing design, but I hope to customize and modernize that design. The idea for this build was inspired by a specific robot in a movie. And those are the two things that I want you guys to guess. One is, what movie provided the inspiration? And two is, what robot from that movie? If all goes well and the build is successful, and there's enough interest, I will definitely release all the files needed to make this robot. Let's start by taking a look at the basic layout of the electronics. Here you can see all the electrical components that will be used. This is going to be a radio controlled robot, so we will have a transmitter that will communicate to a receiver which is on board the robot. The receiver will send those signals to the main processing unit, which will determine which motor needs to be commanded. The main processing unit will then signal to one or more motor drivers on how they should drive the motors. All of this will be powered from two battery sources. One battery will power the logical end of the devices, and the other battery will power the motors only. Some of the main design criteria are listed here, and they are, the size of the components is a crucial factor, there will be three axes of motion on this robot, and no, the robot is not going to look like a square. Now that we have the basics laid out, let's take a more detailed look at the components that are going to be used. The diagram now shows all the specific components that are going to be used. The transmitter is the FlySky FSI6, and the receiver is the FlySky FS X6B 6 channel receiver. The main processing unit is going to be a 3.3 volt 8 megahertz Arduino Pro Mini. The motor drivers are both from Pololu. One is a DRV8801 single motor driver and the other is the DRV8835 dual motor driver. The logic powering battery is a 150 milliamp hour LiPo from Adafruit and the battery powering the motors is a 1S 230 milliamp hour from Craze Pony. Let's step through these and look at these in real life. Here's a look at the RC transmitter that I'm going to use and some of the various receivers that I looked into. So the transmitter is going to be the FlySky FS i6. It's uh, reasonably cheap at $44, $45 and it still gets pretty decent reviews. In terms of receivers, the FS i6 came with this FSIA6B 6 channel PWM receiver and I got this working very easily and had no issues with it but unfortunately it's too big and bulky and won't meet my size constraints. So then I went looking for basically the smallest RC receiver that I could find and this was one of the smaller ones that I found um, but it's a 6 channel PPM receiver and that basically means that it sends all 6 channels over one physical pin and you have to decode the information at the endpoint. And I could not get this working for the life of me. I tried different Arduino libraries and various scripts that I found online, but I just could not get all six channels to work for me. So I had to backpedal and find the smallest six channel PWM receiver that I could find. And this was one of the smaller ones that I could find for six channel PWM. And I got that working very easily, and I think it will be small enough to work for me. Here are the motor drivers that I'm going to be using. The first one is the Pololu DRV8801, which is a single axis motor driver. And the second one is the DRV8835, which is a dual axis motor driver. And you can see these things are tiny, which is perfect for what I need. In terms of motors, I'm going to be using these brushed DC gearheads that I found on DigiKey. They come in this nice little package with a PCB already soldered to it that has headers for easy connection. They come in a variety of gear ratios. They're about eight bucks each and they're really small as you can see. So all this fits my application criteria. Here's a portion of that schematic in real life. Boy, what a rat's nest. This is gonna have to shrink down and clean up a lot to fit into the robot body. So let me go through and lay out the components that I have here. 
Um, so I have an Arduino Uno in place of the Pro Mini because I already had an, an Uno and it's a bit more user friendly to get going. I have the two motor drivers here. I have the FlySky six channel receiver. I have three DC motors and a power source for the motors. And of course I have my FlySky FSI6 transmitter. My approach has basically been to add a layer of functionality at a time. So for example, I started with just the Uno, one motor driver and one DC motor and got that running. Once I had that running, then I added in the six channel receiver and got that one motor running under RC control. And then I kept adding in another piece and another piece and another piece uh, until you see everything that you have here. Let's fire these guys up and take a look at them under RC control. So we have the first axis, the second axis, and the third axis. So I had trouble with the pulse in function in the Arduino library, but I switched to an interrupt based method and that works a lot better. So obviously we're missing the Arduino Pro Mini and the two much smaller batteries. Um, we have a couple bat some batteries here powering the motors, but that whole setup is much too big for the robot. So the next step is gonna be to integrate this with an Arduino Pro Mini, get all that working. And then the final step will be to integrate it with the two small batteries, and that will be the final configuration of the electronics for the robot. And poof, with the magic of a YouTube video, the Arduino Pro Mini is integrated in no time. So you can see that the setup has shrunk down quite a bit, and the wiring looks a little bit cleaner. So again, we have the two motor drivers here, we have the Pro Mini in the middle, and we have the six channel RC receiver here, and two of the DC gearhead motors up top. I've had all three motors hooked up, but two looked a bit cleaner in the video. I'm still running the motors off of the battery pack that you saw earlier, and the logical elements are now hooked up to my benchtop power supply. Notice that the Pro Mini doesn't have any USB cables hooked up to it, so we're running completely off that right now. So let's take a look at these motors under RC control. So we have one of the axes running, forwards and backwards, and then we have the other one running, this motor is geared down quite a lot, so the output shaft doesn't spin very fast. And there's a reason for that, which I won't reveal right now. And we got both of them running at the same time. So that's great. So getting this integrated and working is a great step for the robot. Um, in the next video, I will cover getting the actual batteries integrated and hooked up, and probably moving towards the final form factor of the electronics. Here's a look at the intended final physical configuration of the electronic components and some of the mechanical ones. You can see the only new elements I've added are the batteries, one of which is the battery which will power all the motors, and the other one is the battery which will power the logical elements like the Arduino Pro Mini. So I just wanted to give you guys a feel for what it's going to look like and how big it's going to be, but I'm going to talk more about this in the next episode of this build. That's it for the first video in this series. Be sure to keep an eye out for more clues on my Twitter and Instagram accounts. And if you have any guesses or questions, post them in the comments below. Be sure to check out the other content on my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, why haven't you? I'll see you guys in the next video. Now go print something potent.